Good evening and welcome to the Nerd Cave Show. I hope all of you are getting ready to have a, a fun, you know, hour and whatever. We're going to... Close enough? <laughs> <laughs> it's about an hour, somewhere yeah. around there. But uh, I'm going to turn it over to Ray, and uh, here he comes. There Good. he is. There's me. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another wonderful, exciting, always questionable Nerd Cave Show. Uh, we have some people on the couch tonight. Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, we All right, introduce you first person awesome. on the left. <laughs> we have Retro Obsessed. What's going on, guys? How are we doing tonight? And we have Jesse. Hey, hey, what's up? Representing Canoodle. <laughs> <laughs> Canoodle Studios. Canoodle Studios, one of, one of their own is in. Yeah, one of them. Is in our studio. Yes. Come over, say hi, hang out with us, and drink my happy juice. What's your studio name? My studio name, um, don't question what's on the floor studios. <laughs> oh, my God. That took a very interesting turn. Yep. yep nice. Yep, yep, yep. I could have come up with someone better, but you put me on the spot, and that was like <laughs> right? the yeah. first thing where my brain went. So <laughs> That was bad, I know. I no will wash. I, I will wash my, my mouth out with soap. See, is this soap? I hope it is. Mm, we just like to have fun here. It, you know, <laughs> it's all kinds of crazy. <laughs> oh, it's been interesting. A lot of us have been going kind of nuts and crazy with all the latest uh, outcomes uh, mm. from the uh, uh, the coronavirus. Uh, what do we call this? A situation? A, a, a debacle? Oh, no, we're not a pandemic no. yet, right? It's no, uh, but it's just the. It's this has slowly become become all, you know all of us gamers' wet dream. We don't want you here at work. We want you to go home. Yes. <laughs> so, like, but unfortunately, a lot of us are having to, uh, having to work from home. Me, personally, I'm doing half and half. I'm working in the morning, and then I come home and uh, do a lot of remote work from home, which is still nice because I still got to take my shoes off and uh, be behind my own computer, my own comfy chair, um, while I'm helping people throughout the company. So, With no uh, pants that's on. Good. <laughs> I am not claiming I have oh. my damn pants on. That was a pause. That was a long, <laughs> yeah, was a long yeah, pause. Yeah, you were you were being a, uh, you were being a bit too uh, 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 demanding, or what would you call that right there? Just like uh, you know, giving me something that I really don't want to conform to. Yeah. <laughs> Plead the fifth. Yeah, uh, no pants, no pants. Uh, oh, I need to pull the chat. I apologize, everybody. I should be watching the chat. Wait, are we supposed to be wearing pants? Wait, was that a requirement? No. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> I did not see pants are required sign on the door. I didn't, I didn't see one. Okay, now I feel better. <laughs> Makes the happy juice a little happier. It yes. does. <laughs> it does, especially when you spill in your pants. They're spilling in your lap. <laughs> Gives you that questionable tingle. Mm -hmm. That questionable <laughs> tingle. Questionable tingle. Yeah. All right, we went a little dark there. <laughs> a little bit further than I normally go, but... Uh, how are you guys doing? Uh, yes, we will be giving away a copy of Borderlands 3 on Steam today. Nice. Um, this is not a... Uh, it's it's going to be later in the show, so I'm going to be giving it away in to, to somebody in chat. Uh, so those of you who are just joining in, you got to hang out with us for a little bit. Um, but um, it's kind of be done at random. I'm just going to pick somebody. Uh, Which is, you know, that's par for your course. Random. Exactly. Yep. This is not sponsored in any way. I am buying a copy of Steam, uh, buying a copy of Borderlands 3 on Steam for somebody, nice. uh, I'm doing this is just like I <sighs> to stimulate the steam uh, economy. No, there's no, uh, there's nothing I can do to stimulate that. I mean, there, <laughs> would that be we'll a get into steamy that later. stimulus? Yeah, yeah it's a stimulus. <laughs> <laughs> stimulus. Oh, <yeah>. <laughs> so, <laughs> first thing we need to get to there's a, there's a couple things we need to get to first. Yes, let's talk about uh, things. Namely, uh, uh, over the past couple of days, we've been getting a lot of information, especially the Xbox Series X. Now, have you guys been uh, watching at all the Xbox Series X? Are you guys interested in it? Um, mm. I'm not interested, but I still like to read about it. It's just very, very cool. I've always been a PlayStation guy, but it's still in nice to read the stuff that mm -hmm. all the new stuff that's coming out. So, um, I'm very interested in it. I haven't. I don't even have an Xbox One yet, but <laughs> I'm still curious. Okay. All right. Uh, what about uh, Jesse? Are you have you been playing at all? Do you even do console or not really? Do you uh, do this games PlayStation's all? all over Canoodle, so but I'm usually just they've been playing Doom lately, so I've been watching a lot of that. Do oh Doom 2016? Right? Yeah. Yes, that's a. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, the return, the return of classic Doom goodness. Uh, yes, I, th that, that was a brilliant game. I, uh, I sense a memory lane. Change. Honestly. Right? <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll get, okay, we'll get, so we'll get, <laughs> we'll get to that. Okay, one. we're going to get into Doom before we get into, because I wanted to talk about Doom, but we're already going down that path. We'll get back to the uh, the Xbox, and uh, but uh, <laughs> just call him Random Ray, man. He goes, sweet, <laughs> General Kenobi. Oh, crow, how's it going, man? Um, so, with Doom 2016, <sighs> I was really scared when it came out, and I'm not going to lie. I was really worried because the last couple of Quake and, uh, like, Quake 4, Quake 4 wasn't too bad, but, like, Quake 3 Arena and uh, Quake Champions. Mm. Like, let's take a game that originally started off as story and make it... Uh, now, I understand, there was a multiplayer. When they, when they started doing uh, releasing enough source code for people to do ports in Quake and Quake 2, the community went to town on it. And that's great. The multiplayer was absolutely great, thanks to the community. But it's been proven time and time again, ID Software, even when John Carmack was there, cannot, they can make great network code. They cannot make good network games. <laughs> and you can't take something the community gives and goes, oh, we're gonna make this a, a standalone game, all of that, and then like no community support. So you need the community. You do. What, you really do. Now, with Doom 2016, they at least brought Doom back to what made it great, which is just fast-paced, ripping through. I mean, they've added to it, uh, just ripping through uh, a lot of uh, Doom, you know, just just getting into it. And they expanded upon the lore. It was kind of cool, like some of the story they were going with, uh, creating uh, the Doom universe around it. But... Um, Did you see what Old Crow Gaming just, just what do you said? Say? He said, Quake Champa, what now? <laughs> yes. <sighs> yeah, I, I don't know if anybody played Quake Champions, but it was there. It basically, it was Quake 3, or it was Quake 3 Arena redone with loot boxes. That's essentially what oh, wow. it is. It's the, if you played Quake 3 Arena, and a lot of people don't, the Quake 3 Arena was... Very few people tear. like it, and they're hardcore players of it. Everybody else went, hoo-ha, who cares? Quake 3 Champions was, let's do that again, <laughs> but let's add loot boxes. Wah, wah, wah. And it's, it's like, even it's going down. Um, I tried playing it. I tried getting into it, but I just, without the story and without the community making mods for it, it just, it's bland. Nothing there. Yeah. No, it really not. It, it's there's a lot that's missing from it. Uh, with Doom 2016, uh, there's no community support, but they still made a very great game. Uh, they expanded on the story. They've really uh, just really focused on what was great about Doom. Um, it really looked like those guys that worked on it were like, we play brutal Doom, and we want to we want to kind of <laughs> do uh, Doom new. But with the feel kind of like Brutal Doom, and uh, honestly, they did a phenomenal job. And it was really tricky because when Doom 2016 came out, I was really questionable because it was during that time. It was a whole we, we lost a lot of the original people from ID Software. We lost uh, John Carmack. We lost uh, well, we lost everybody pretty much. Well, there's a couple of guys that are still left, but all the key, the, all the big guys were, uh, you know, the guys we all fell in love with were long since gone. Uh, they've gone on to bigger and better things, and so we just got a new uh, subscriber. Sorry, oh, did we? Sorry to interrupt, Christy Nick. Hey, Christy, how's it going? Glad you can join us. How's it going, Christy? Thank you for the subscription. Yeah, old crow, rip and tear. <laughs> um, what's made me nervous when Doom, and I did not pre-order it when Doom 2016 came out, and the reason being is it's a Bethesda. It's owned by ID Software. Bethesda. It's owned by Bethesda. And at that time, they were still really good. I mean, they were still moderate. I, was, I wasn't pre-ordering a lot of their games because you couldn't pl really pl enjoy them for a couple of months after they got released because Bethesda was still no, uh, n very, very much... They were, we're going to release a game, but then release the patches to make it playable or play right months down the road. So that's kind of where I was at with them. So when I got Doom 2016, I waited a little bit. And then I heard a lot of the great reviews. I got it, and I loved it. Um, with Doom Eternal, I've pre-ordered it, and I was really, really on the fence with this, 
because it's still owned by Bethesda. Mm. He's still got the marks from the fence, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> and if, well, here's the thing. Fallout 76? <laughs> Enough. <laughs> Sad. 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 Yeah. But here's the thing. It's like, Dude 2016 was really, really good. Bethesda. Mm. But it was really good. Bethesda. <laughs> so I was kind of, uh, and I was like, all right. So I've taken the plunge. I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram. I posted. <laughs> I have pre-ordered. And here was the thing. Here's how they hooked me. No joke. And I know you saw this, too. Oh, yeah. What, what, what was it? The 64. Yep. yep. Doom 64. That's my favorite game I play right now on my Nintendo 64 is my, my Doom red cartridge. Yes. <laughs> well, here's the thing. If anybody knows, Doom two, uh, Doom 64 is a sequel to Doom 2. I actually don't know that, actually. It is an actual sequel. Not only that, it's never been released on anything but the Nintendo 64. The console. It's the only place it's been uh, 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 released on. Not only that... Because they had packed so much into it with the levels, uh, they had to drop a couple of monsters because they just wouldn't fit on the cartridge. Right, right. But they actually had to drop the multiplayer mode. Oh, okay. Multiplayer mode was actually planned, and they had to drop that at the last minute. So whether they're going to add that, who knows? But they did say they're adding new content, which I have a feeling it was started, but then they realized they didn't have enough space and never finished it. Gotcha. And recently, they decided it's either A, they're finished up or added on content they couldn't put on the cart, or B, they have somebody in the company that did the port, and they were, like, they were really into it, and they decided to add new content. Mm -hmm. That's where I, it's one of those two. And I could be totally wrong. I'm just fanboying right now. Right. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no joke. But honestly, that was the, it was like, I kind of want to pre order, but it, it's, it is a Bethesda. We'll give you Doom, to, Doom 64. Sold. <laughs> it's like take give my me, money. Me take my money. <laughs> I did. I bought the I, I bought the uh, the big digital collector's nice. edition, whatever the big nine eighty or ninety dollars. Yeah, I got it. Awesome. I'm bad. I'm horrible. <laughs> he is so, bad, isn't he, guys? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ray. Uh, Fre uh, Fre Phoenix Wind, yeah. Hmm, the arena shooters are in a bad position right now. <laughs> Here's the thing: we got too oversaturated, and too many games. I'm sorry, Counter Strike Go just Oh yeah. They stretched that engine a little too far. They really did. And there's too many I love Counter Strike. I'm still an avid Counter Strike source player. Mm -hmm. I love playing Counter Strike Store. Counter Strike Go, I just can't get into. It's really, really hard. Um what is it? Uh, Quake Champions flopped. And that was mostly because it was just a hey, let's make a Quake game, let's make a Quake Three Arena with loot boxes, as I said before. And no, we're 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 getting sick and tired of these loot box games. It was kind of a neat thing when it started, and now we're just like, stop it, we're done with this. So, yeah, it's uh. Anyway, uh, uh, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> <That's that>. <laughs> we just got oversaturated. I will say this though: anybody wants if just a wild, uh, and I've me and my daughter played it. You look on my uh, on, on my gaming channel, you'll find it there. Goat of goats it's of like duty. Goats of doom or duty. Yeah. Goats that's of right. duty, that's right, yeah. and it's just a. It's small arenas where you're goats with guns. <laughs> Doesn't get much better than it that. is. It's hilarious. It's, it's a, just it's a fun. It, it's fun to watch people play mm -hmm. too. It's a riot. It's just the funniest, craziest thing. So if you're looking for something that's just a little bit different, just something like. That's the other thing I don't like a lot about the games is because a lot of people are playing and they're becoming serious with it. Go to duty. You can't be serious when you're going, <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the best mode in that, too, and is me and my daughter played a lot, is the Phosphor Ra, which is basically you get the push gun. And you basically, you're pushing other goats off the map. Well, here's <laughs> the thing. If you hit them, they, their bodies are flopping. So you see the the four legs and the gun when we're going blah 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 blah. <laughs> nice. It's hilarious. It's the the funniest thing ever. It's funny. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Old Crow. I just keep playing Bloodborne and Dark Souls Three. I have not played either one of those. Uh, you know, I I I I watched my son play Bloodborne and Dark Souls Three, and that's a great game if you want to watch somebody like destroy their their controller or <laughs> just like completely melt down mm -hmm. because that's what happens it's it's rather hilarious i'm i'm not even going to lie I, I it's funny to watch to me but yeah <laughs> it's 
<laughs> Man, it's. It, what about you, Retro? Do you play or Jesse? Do you guys play any of those games? No, not those ones. I no, know, not all right. at all. Yeah, like, what are you playing right now? Me? Yeah. What are you I'm playing? I'm still playing my old consoles, really, but I play a little bit of Steam with the Counter Strike. Since that you got me hooked on, I've been playing that. <laughs> you, you, have you been playing on the Crack House Deathmatch? The crack House. Yes. Oh, you guys yes. hop on that. I play that a lot. <laughs> yeah, I've been playing a lot of Forza. Play? I love Forza and. Yeah. I, oh, Forza is a great yeah, game. I, see, oh, here's the thing: when it comes to racing games, I can only play them on console. Yeah, yeah. That's the only. It, I can. I cannot play racing games on a computer because I don't want to. Because I wind up buying the, the the steering wheel and all that other right. crap. And the and and I just can't yeah. do it. Well, I mean, I have a full racing setup in my garage, but it's I for know the you do. Three. Yeah, and that's for my Gran Turismo setup. <laughs> You've got a nice setup. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. just saying. My problem is I'll get into it. It's like, well, no, but this one's only $50 more, and I'll get that. Exactly, yep. <laughs> my Amazon card is screaming. You know, it's really bad. What about you? I mean, are you playing anything at all? Uh, Ring Fit. Really? Um, Jared's kid got one, so it's like there. So I've been like just because it's fun. That's the Switch version uh, of the no, Wii Fit, it's, right? It's, yeah. it's valid. Can, there's no looking cool. Oh, at there's all. no. <laughs> at all. <laughs> <laughs> at all. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Well, you, you, got, you got to get the cleavage. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you. I, I would assume, uh, have you ever played any of, like, here's my thing. Most people play, fru- uh, play uh, uh, the, 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 the Wii Fit or stuff like that. Uh, Fruit Ninja. Yeah. Yes, that was That, that was, was a game that looked great because I look like, I, I literally look like I'm having spasms when I'm mm-hmm. playing. Yep. And you get lots of points <laughs> out of it, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then why are you tired playing games with kids? Yes. <laughs> my kids are looking at me like, Dad, you suck. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but it's good cardio. It, it really yeah. is. It, it really is. It's like a... Uh, Pat your head, uh, circle your tummy thing. Yeah, it's like, right. Uh, it's like run full blast. Now squeeze and pull this thing, and I'm like, body's right. Yeah, and give birth, and, and give yeah. birth, and give birth. Yeah, <laughs> turn your head and cough. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, all right. So what, going back to consoles, Xbox, Microsoft released a little bit more specs on the new upcoming console. This looks it, like it's going to be really cool. It really is. Uh, there is a couple of more inform- a little bits of information that came out. And uh, this, some of this is kind of interesting. So it is going to be an 8-core Zen 2. It's an AMD-designed Zen 2, but it is a custom chip. Zen 2. Uh, now, here's the weird thing. It's a 3.8 gigahertz processor if you're running in single... Uh, I think it's if you're running SMT, which is... Uh, or basically running a, if you're running a game that's single threaded, it'll run at 3.8. Or yeah, if you're running a single core game at 3.8. But if you engage SMT, which is uh, multi-threaded, or some kind of multi-threaded, it's really weird, um, it clocks down to 3.6. I think it's kind of power consumption and heat dissipation. Could be. Um, but it is a seven nanometer, and what, one of the unique thing is is AMD is the only one doing seven nanometer, so they're the only ones that could do this. Uh, Intel can't produce a seven <laughs> nanometer chip. It's actually they recently said it's like 2021 is the first when they'll finally be able to build seven nanometer. Oh, wow. uh, the GPU. Here's something that's really cool about the GPU. It is going to be a, a 12 teraflop, 52 computational units. Uh, it's running at 1.825 gigahertz. It is a custom RDNA 2 graphics card with ray tracing. Now, here's okay. the unique thing. Does anybody know where the uh, where uh, AM or yeah AMD's Radeon ray tracings come from? No idea. N- Nvidia. Nvidia. Okay. Instead of having dedicated uh, cores. They're do, they are going to be doing, instead of doing 32-bit ray tracing, they are actually going to be doing like 4- and 8-bit ray tracing and having the, the graphics processor do the brunt work of, of rendering it. Interesting. It, it's, it's, a, it's a different take on it, but it is NVIDIA tech. They're not, they don't have actual ray tracing cores in the graphics chip, but they're going to brute force it. Hmm. By reducing the amount uh, the amount of horsepower that's required, like going to four and eight bit, it's still going to look great. I've seen right. some of the pictures. Have they released if it was going to be um, in eight uh, like eight K versions or just straight four K? Do you know? Or we're we're getting into oh, that. God. We're getting into that. Haven't we're got that far yet. It, it's it's <laughs> that, there's a little bit of, there's a little bit that goes into that. So gotcha. uh, it is going to have sixteen gigs of DDR six, GDDR six, GDDR six. Now here's the thing though. Only I think they said only eight or thirteen gigs will be available. Uh, to 
for use. The rest of it's going to be eaten up by the, uh, the operating system. Uh, it's going to have, and this is the one thing I saw, and they haven't gotten into much detail, but I kind of, if we, if we know anything about Microsoft, we know what's going on here. A one terabyte custom NVMe SSD. SSD. Now, I, I kind of have an idea what's going on here because if anybody's noticed, uh, you guys have noticed that the, like the last couple of generations of the Xbox, it's getting more and more tricky. You can't just swap out a hard drive. Mm. Normally in the past, what they've done is they have taken um, hard drives and put custom firmware on them. And then that firmware is essentially married. There, it takes the, like a, a, it generates a code uh, kind of like a, a CRC check. And that gets embedded into the firmware of the motherboard on the Xbox. So it goes, if you plug another drive in, it goes, I don't know what that is. It, it, I, it doesn't validate, it, it isn't validated here. I was going to ask on the, the Xbox Ones, can you hook up like an external hard drive to those as if it was a computer? You for can, but it still recognizes it as a USB external drive. It doesn't ah. recognize it as an. You can't load a game onto it to run a game. That's on what it. I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it. it's it's still unlimited. Now with the custom one terabyte, there's a few things that can go on here. Now, if anybody knows you, yeah, if you ever, uh, if, those of us who work in IT and stuff, uh, we'll have people that buy the external hard drives, right? Now, years ago, when the, when the USB external hard drive started coming out, we could crack those open if uh, you, people couldn't read from it, unplug the USB to uh, SATA connector adapter, and plug the hard drive in as a regular hard drive to pull data off of it. You can't do that anymore on a lot of the drives. A lot of them, what you do, when they, when they make them, they are making specific drives specifically for external drives. Uh, to be as a portable drive. And what they're doing is is the USB controller and the USB port is actually being made part of the main board of the motherboard. There is no SATA connector. It's all one drive, and they just put a plastic casing around it. It does reduce costs, and uh, it does make a little bit more reliable of a USB uh, controller. Downside is, is, is if the drive fails, well, you either send it to a data, driver, d a data saver place or... You throw it out. Um, what I'm thinking, and this is completely me theorizing on this, they're either going to, A, do something similar where they're going to have a proprietary hard drive connector. I see. So right. you, and it's not going to be like an adapter. It's literally going to be on the hard drive. And Microsoft's going to order a bunch of these. Uh, and if you don't have a Microsoft-specific connector, you can't plug that drive into your system. Makes sense, yeah. Which is going to make it, you can't get these drives anywhere but from Microsoft. Right. Mm. So or a third-party company is going to make them. Because they know it's specific, yeah. Um, it's either that or, A, there's going to be a custom chip on the hard drives that is going to make it where it's going to recognize this is an Xbox only with this security chip. So there's been several ways to go about it. I honestly believe they're going to go with a custom cable with firmware. Okay, I got you. Because every generation of Xbox, they increase the amount of security for their drives and mm -hmm. their... Because what is happening, it's helping to prevent copy, copying protection and a bunch of other stuff. Um, the optical drive is going to be a 4K UHD Blu-ray drive. Okay, gotcha. So you're, we're finally going to have Blu-ray on the Xbox. It is going <laughs> to be good <laughs> for 4K, 120 frames per second. Oh, okay. Got it. That makes sense. Their target, but here's the, here's the kicker for that. Their target is 60 frames per second, 4K gaming. Mm -hmm. Now, if you can do it, you can get up to 120, but their, their target range is getting 60 frames per second uh, gaming. Um. They are listing it as potential 8K. They are trying mm. to work it in, but their focus is 4K. Um, they're probably going to add the tech into it, or I wouldn't be surprised. Like this is something. Update, or? I got. I am going to believe a next version. Gotcha. Okay. There'll be nice. you know the Xbox Series X Pro. The Pro. Yeah. PS5 where they'll bump Pro up the CPU, and, yeah. they'll add extra cores, or they'll bump it up to a three, you know, four gigahertz when the price comes down too. and <laughs> manufacturing comes down, stuff like that. Uh, the ray tracing uh, technology, which is not dedicated cores, it's going to be uh, essentially software based uh, ray tracing. Uh, that's and a there is going to be CD-ROM games. It's not going to be digital only, right? 
They, yeah, they rolled that one out. The Blu-rays. Right? Yeah. The yeah. Blu-rays. It's just basically they're going to have a 4K Blu-ray ROM on Play, it gotcha. that'll also reach. Uh, nice. Uh, so you don't need a specific 4K player anymore. You just want all one unit. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, nice. Ver- yeah. Variable rate shading for more f- uh, stable frame rates. Basically, uh, uh, they're working on more tech to smooth out the game frame rates, uh, and it's supposed to be compatible with Xbox One accessories, controllers. As- Stuff like that. So, and have it said anything about backwards compatibility? That was something they recorded in. There's I know they had already put it in, but I, yeah. I believe from what everything I read, I haven't heard anything different. They haven't been touting it in a while. Yeah, but that's they haven't thing. took it off either. So, no, I mean, that's exactly. good. Yeah, that's always nice. So it does look like it, <laughs> it's going to be a decent uh, system. Mm-hmm. Now, most people are thinking, "Hey, this is this is better than a high end uh, than PCs right now." No, <laughs> the current <laughs> specs. For the Xbox that has Xbox Series X that has not been released yet is just under, just under. Now the graphics is going to be a little is currently a little bit better than a 2080, mm. but the CPU wise and memory wise is just under a high end PC. Okay. Give it another year with the specs staying the sec- same on the Xbox. High end computer is going to be dwarfing, and in about two years. The Xbox is still going to be equivalent to a mid-range P- gaming PC, yep. which is still going to be really good. Next year, um, they're coming out with the 3000 series, right? For the um, 4000 graphics series. cards. Is it 4000? Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, like, the, like the 3080s and all 3000 series graphic cards. Is it next year? They haven't listed yet. Oh, they haven't listed I'm pretty yet? Sure, oh, okay. Yeah, they, it's still too soon. With the economy the way it is and stuff oh, like yeah, that, everybody's yeah. going to push off, and everybody with people laying off, they're not going to announce anything. I can't even anything. afford a 1080, so. <laughs> yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a while. I, I'm almost certain new product stuff is going to be pushed off a year, and they're just going to be putting out the same stuff. Um, Intel's got to do something because they're way behind. We're behind. <laughs> so where are we out of time? Uh, we're only at almost half hour. All right, all right. Yeah. I think it's uh, – so what are we going to do? Okay, uh, uh, we have more comments. I mean, make sure comments, and then we're going to move on yeah, to not, Game not, Challenge. Not sent uh, Old Crow uh, back on the uh, Dark Souls 3 and, uh, okay. and Bloodborne. Just said uh, that they can be frustrating – but uh, they are still fun as hell. Yeah, they're they're. I imagine they are fun to play. I speak from the point of view of someone watching someone else play them. They're right. great. Yep. <laughs> but all right. So yeah, and if you guys have any more comments, please let me know. Like I said, um, throw them on there. Let us throw see them on there. Uh, but it's candy jam, uh, candy challenge time. Candy hey. and challenge. Today's yeah. <laughs> Retro's over there giggling because he's the one that brought these monstrosities. You're welcome. They are orange cream pop. Oh, bring up the uh, the, the candy challenge image. Oh, hold Sorry on. Sorry about that. I, <laughs> I I know I loaded it, but I for, it's just click on it. Oh yeah yeah I got it. It should already be loaded. It's just, uh, it's these right here. These are there it is. Orange, orange. There we go. Twinkies. There we go. Yeah, these are. These scare the crap out of me. I'm <laughs> weird, bro. Or these are limited edition. I could not find these on Amazon. They had them and they got rid of them. I did find them on Amazon UK. So we don't have any links for these. But uh, yeah, these were limited ones. They have some other ones which we were orange pop, cream pop. Orange I actually found these at cream grocery pop. outlet. Grocery outlet, huh? Grocery outlet. Yeah. Grocery outlet. Okay, Amazon did have them for a short period of time, but they got—they uh, don't have them anymore. Ooh, I did smell. find them in Amazon UK. They—they they don't smell bad. They don't smell bad. Okay. No, no, they smell orangey. <laughs> orangey. Oh wow, those—but mm-hmm. but those do smell like orange. You were gobbling it down. Mm. He's like, ow, ow, ow. all right. That's um. <laughs> retro, <laughs> retro. This makes up for the uh, maple syrup flavor. There you go. Are peach. they good? Or are they? <laughs> I not, think so. They're not bad. I like, I like them. them. Mm-hmm. All right. So orange, cream pop. Oh jeez, it's like sticky in there. I don't know if they not really bad. taste like they're good, but this it's not good. It's not bad. You can tell that yeah. the, the, you you can tell that they're trying to go for the orange right, cream right. flavor. It's not quite there, but yeah. it's close. It's close. It's really it's, close. It's when in you the breathe out. Box. Now breathe out, and you can. Mm-hmm. It breathes out like a 50 <laughs> bar. Like a there are nutritional <laughs> facts on that, but just like every yeah, uh, candy challenge, those. we don't read that. No, also, no we don't need to know is. that nonsense. Mm. Orange cream. Mandy, orange cream. Yum. <laughs> Look at the inside of it. That's not cool. <laughs> oh, I'd probably glow oh, under a neon light, too. Pizza. <laughs> not bad. They're actually not bad at yeah, all. Yeah, they're not bad at all. Retro, I, I, we're, we're still friends. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Beard approved. <laughs> I mean, it's still teetering there, but mm-hmm. we're, we, we, the French okay, is still one alive. Be, next one will be better, Ray. 
<laughs> I, I, I might have Ray toss me another one. Yeah, they're not bad. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Yeah. Twinkies flying everywhere. Where'd it go? I'm flinging my Twinkies <laughs> around the room. Oh, he's flinging Twinkies. <laughs> Not bad. Not those bad. are they're not they're not mm -hmm. bad at all. I'm surprised. I was a little bit more scared of those, but they they yeah, aren't bad. too bad. Twinkie the kid. Twinkie the kid. The best part is, is he hands them to you and they're opened, and I'm like, uh, <laughs> yeah. Why are you giving me an open box of treats, dude? He goes, Well, my kids got to them. I was like, I oh, couldn't okay. even <laughs> take them out of the house before they demo started demolishing them. <laughs> yeah. That's like my daughter. What do you mean like, we can't have the rest of <laughs> yeah, them? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> As the Twinkie is like sitting right yeah. here on the. Like, what do you mean we yeah. can't have one? I didn't have any. What are you talking about? <laughs> really... That's I quite, didn't have where my one. daughter is. If you say cha, it's getting ripped out of your hands before you can finish chocolate. Yeah, I have exactly. Another one. Um, you have another one? All right. Who, who wants another one? Okay. What do you think, Jesse? One? Dude! <laughs> <laughs> yes. I squished it, Twinkie. All right. Now, Mandy says, but that's not candy. You are absolutely right, but yeah. it's acceptable. Uh, <laughs> it is it's either that or sugary insects. enough as candy. <laughs> We it's we do sugar. give some sugar, we do yeah. give a little leeway to, to, to the candy. Well, let me see here. It's uh, not chocolate covered insects. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that I'm grateful for. No, did you guys see that when I uh, my for my daughter I got her aunt. I went to uh, when I went to the last time I went to the beach was a couple months back. I uh, got my daughter uh, went to Hot Lakes and I got her a ant sucker. Ooh, ant sucker. I got oh, her okay. the lemon. The, I remember the hearing pink about lemonade. That. That has ants inside it. Oh, I had wow. to get it to her. Because one, she doesn't like pink, so I got her the pink one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and two, it has ants in it. She still, like, ate a little bit of it and then threw it out. I was like, I, I love my daughter so much. She, <laughs> She's she plays, a trooper, man. Oh, oh she, yeah. <laughs> she loves it. Yeah, those videos are great. I, <laughs> Watching it her still do those. blows me away whenever we did the sour ones. She's like, oh, those are not bad. Nah, I and know, right? All the 92% the cocoa. Cow. Oh, my son Jason was the one. same way. He was the same. He was just like, it, it's good. Can I have more? Right. <laughs> but the the ninety two percent cocoa. Yeah, yeah. She's like, oh, this is good. I'm like, uh, yeah. She was like eating chalk. <laughs> your chocolate addiction is like epic level, little child. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Good call. Oh, yeah, I was, I was applauding her. Mandy goes that one. Was Twinkie flinging fun. Yes. yes. <laughs> We have all kinds of fun here on the Nerd Cave Show. We do. We do. Now it's a party. Things, <laughs> as long as we don't fling poo. <laughs> I make no promises. Uh, well, I don't want any promises. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. I think it's time we move on. Uh, we're going to move on to the Cave Jam. Cave Jam. Cave Jam. And if you guys haven't noticed, I've been drinking out of the Cave Jam tonight. As Because this was a gift from the ever-wonderful, ever-awesome... Mandy and Baird. And this is the Stormtrooper Galaxy Glass Bottle. That's so awesome. Pretty These badass. things, dude, this is freaking amazing. Look at this. Watch this. Look, 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 look. Look at the Stormtrooper. I'll give you a little close up. There's the glass. Cool. Is that not freaking awesome? It's a Stormtrooper helmet. It's pretty cool. And you get a Stormtrooper helmet bottle, and it does have a. Now, is this a. Was it's a cork. a cork. Yep. It is a cork. It's the awesome. uh, the 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 uh, artificial rubber. cork, but mm -hmm. it's still a good, it's still a cork. It's the rubber Holds composite kind of cork thing. But yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I've yeah, I've had so many whiskey bottles that come with this cork. It's it's mm -hmm. fine. Um, it yeah, Mandy and I saw that, and we were like, yeah, that's for Ray. That's and, awesome. Yeah, <laughs> it's not bad. It's thirty five bucks. Here's the yeah, and here's the glass. Very cool. It's it. Uh, Looks like I've been enjoying my Stormtrooper <laughs> whiskey tonight. It's quite quite tasty. First TA, so it's five millimeter. Like I okay. I will have to say I love the description on here. Made of five millimeter thickening, high quality boroskelite glass. Okay. <laughs> the thickening, high quality Sounds glass is uh, I, yeah. Boros boros the thickening. What? <laughs> Silicate? Something? I don't know. Like yeah. -I -C -C. Two millimeter <laughs> thickness <laughs> glass. It, it's of... different from two millimeter thickness. Yes. Well, yeah, because that's yeah. an extra three millimeters. <laughs> exactly. Oh, so the glass and the bottle are made from different manufacturers. Interesting. Is it? That's what it says. Get your oh, money's Oh, no, no, never mind. I'm sorry. I it apologize. just made it. Uh, yeah. I read it. I read it wrong. 
It's different from two millimeter thickness glass of other manufacturers. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's three more millimeters. I mean, yeah. that's a difference. That's three more millimeters we all wanted. Size is everything. <laughs> 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 they love the extra millimeters. <laughs> hey, I have already drank in three quarters of a head here. <laughs> I prefer to say helmet, but you went for head, <laughs> yeah, he, so he went, he went straight does to the not head. Make it sound any better. <laughs> <laughs> See, there are so many uh, spaceballs jokes I can go with mm-hmm. right here. You know, she. <laughs> you look like you give good helmets. Mm, <laughs> where I was going, I didn't say it. Uh, uh, <sighs> he got the light side. I got the dark side. <laughs> oh no, he got the upside. I got the downside. One of those two. I can't remember. It's been so. I need to watch that movie again. <laughs> we do. It's a, it's a be great with movie. Me. Uh, but yeah, it's really cool. This is a uh, like I said, I like shaped it. foam case that comes with. Uh, there is magnets on it, so it nice ho- closes up pretty well. Great gift. I love this thing. And the bottle just kind of sits down in there. Do it. Actually, you got to tip it to the side. I didn't realize that. So you got to tip it slightly off or his nose kind of doesn't let you close the lid. <laughs> nice. Yeah, very nice. I like this. Thank you, Gary and Mandy. Um, Head size matters. Yeah, 35 <laughs> bucks on Amazon. Uh, did you post a link? Ah, uh, whoops. I apologize. I was <laughs> He's going to post the link. The link is down in the description. For those guys watching the app, where it's down below. For those guys listening on the podcast, um, it'll, be, uh, the, no, it'll be down in the notes. There uh, it is, not, right there. Like I said, you can find it on Amazon. Uh, yes, ideal listen. gift for liquor lover addicts. Which one do I fall on? <laughs> mm. I'm not an addict because I don't drink every day. I probably I'm underachieving. I know you are the liquor yeah. lover. I am the liquor, liquor lover. lover. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise your relatives and friends with an amazing a gift for Christmas, wedding, birthday, or other holidays. Also, be an eye-catch decoration in your cabinet. Suitable for party bar home. Absolutely. Not and home. Just party bar home. Or party bar home. <laughs> I love I love it when you get these typos. They're, they're just so awesome. <laughs> Many kinds of application. Fits for bourbon. <laughs> Whiskey, scotch, vodka, rum, beer, juice, and wine. Hand wash only. Juice. Yep. <laughs> Well, you know, juice. There's yep. a, that, that's a good mixer. <laughs> <laughs> Ming Y'all is committed to letting you enjoy the relaxation and pleasure of liquor. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sounds like a good night. <laughs> if you have any questions about our Stormtrooper whiskey decanter set, please feel free to contact us. <laughs> uh, suitable <laughs> for, for party bar home. <laughs> the rubber bottle plug will not change the taste of your liquor. And that's important. Yeah. Because you don't want your cork changing the flavor of your liquor. Unless uh, it's oh, for the better. Mandy. <laughs> I also le- love licking. Wait, wait, wait. What? What? Wait, what? <laughs> ah! All right, all right, all right. So that's the, ca- that's the uh, cave gem. Good stuff. All right, now we're going to get into the, uh, the, the most important thing. And the we are most like I said, important. meat of the bone. This show, I will be giving the away. meat of the bone. <laughs> What's that? He said the meat the of the meat bone. of the bone. Meat of the bone, bone of the meat, something <laughs> yep. like that. One of yep. two. The ham off the bone, baby. <laughs> so, Borderlands we Three, like it got released on Steam, and I will be giving away a copy today. Uh, this will not be a key. Uh, the way this is going to work is I'm going to be watching the chat, and I'm going to basically just give it away. Uh, towards the end of this, uh, I'll be kind of asking if anybody wants a copy, just let me know. Uh, that wants to be entered into the competition, uh, com- uh, into the drawing. Uh, basically, what's going to happen is. I'm going to be buying you a copy of Steam. This is not... That's uh, awesome. Yeah, this is not going to be... Or this is not uh, sponsored in any way. I just felt like I wanted to buy somebody a copy of Borderlands 3. Um, I have talked negative about it. (laughs) And I'm going to elaborate on that here shortly. But when it comes down to it, I love the Borderlands franchise. I love the Borderlands universe. Borderlands 3 is a amazing game. You so, know he's telling the truth if you yeah. watch this show religiously mm-hmm. because he talks about it almost every yep. episode. Okay, not so, almost every episode, but quite <laughs> often. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so the main thing is like, one, they're kind of country. Uh, 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 you got to you know, po- keep going in chat. Let me know you're here. Two, 
you have to have a, an active Steam account. And uh, we will go through the details and everything two. after the show. <laughs> uh, and essentially what's going to happen is, is I'm going to have you add me as a friend on Steam. If you guys want to right now, A-U-D-I-O-C-R-A-Z. Um, old Crow probably recognizes me from my old name uh, from years and years and years ago. And I'm going to put this out there just because uh, I love the uh -huh. name. But we came up with a bunch of weird names, and mine was procrastinating the marmalade. <laughs> wow, that's let nice. that bake in your noodle for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, a u d i o c r a z. I kind of kept it a little simple. But yeah, uh, find me on Steam, add me as a friend. Um, but one of you guys will, uh, one of you guys will be getting a copy of Borderlands Three at the end of the show. Nice. So. One thing I, I want to talk about this. Oh, I got an email. Okay, not important. Um, <laughs> so, Borderlands 3 got released on Steam this week. And I didn't pull, I was going to pull it up. I was going to pull up the numbers. Uh, have any of you guys played Borderlands, any of the Borderlands games at all on? Just recently. Yeah, which, one, which one have you played? Uh, it was I started off with the sequel. I've played Borderlands, the pre-sequel, yeah, Borderlands pre 2, yeah. and Borderlands 3 on PS4. Okay, okay. Um, now, yeah, which one the, have the you Handsome played? Collection. That's the one I had, because they had it for free for P on PS4. Uh -huh. so I yeah, just that's what, yeah, that's yeah. what I played also. Yep, I got the Handsome Collection. And then All Borderlands right. 3. Uh, now, okay, so you played Borderlands. Which one, is it, which one was your favorite? The I like the pre-sequel. I don't know. I Just so far, it has been what I like so far. Good gameplay. I like it. See, I like the pre-sequel, too. Mm -hmm. The only thing I didn't like about it is the lack of gravity. Yeah. Made it a little difficult. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of boing. Yes. <laughs> boing. <laughs> but other than that, it was a pretty good game, yeah, I thought. Yeah, it's fun. I didn't, I didn't get to the end, though. I should probably go back oh, and yeah, play I a little more. But, <laughs> but yeah. Well, you get, okay, so you, you haven't played through the end of the pre-sequel? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, come <laughs> on. I have gotten to the end of every game so far. Well, you like being at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quick. not going to argue with that. <laughs> That's that was, you have that a valid quick. point. He was waiting for the perfect time to say that. Too. Uh, you know, I've, I've got a list of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And every now and then it's like, to get this one. Hey, yes. sometimes. He flings it know? out there like a gambit with a card. He has a little cheat sheet. <laughs> Check. Got that one done. <laughs> <laughs> Off the bucket list. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to pull up the numbers, uh, but I, I can't seem to. F I had the numbers early and I lost them. Uh, to compare them to the numbers that came out, essentially what it is, uh, there is uh, when Steam came out, it was released on the Epic Game Store six months ago, as an exclusive the, uh, for the PC was on the Epic Game Store for six months. So. I did buy. I actually bought the full version. The whole, uh, uh, what is it? The the, uh, the big, uh, basically all the expansions, everything. Mm, the deluxe, yeah. Yeah, and the thing was, is that there was only two games I had installed: Fortnite, which I rarely ever played. I tried <laughs> to get into it. I just couldn't get into it. And then Borderlands Three, and I played quite a bit of it. And then eventually I stopped playing, um, mostly because of. I got into other games, but it was also, well, part of the story, uh, part of uh, part of things that happened in the story. And this is one of the things I'm a little upset about, the, or a couple of things I'm a little upset about the franchise. Remember earlier when I said the memory lane trip? Uh, <laughs> memories. <laughs> so I, I've recently gotten back, and now that it got released on Steam, I bought it all over again. I bought the, the digital deluxe edition. The uh, the big uh, fifty dollar one, and I, I did. I I rebought it on Steam. I have since uninstalled the Epic Game Store, like completely. I don't want it on my computer anymore. Uh, I don't play Fortnite, and if I have it on Steam, I have it with the rest of my games. So yay! One less thing on the computer. That's exactly. Nice. Yeah. And there's it's like I have no reason to have the Epic Game Store. Uh, they couldn't it, really. Borderlands Three was really the only reason I got it. And now that I have it on Steam, I had no problem. That's how much I disliked the Epic Game Store. I'm not going to lie. I disliked the Epic Game Store. I bought the game I, I enjoyed a second time <laughs> just so I can delete it. For, delete the wow. Epic Game Store. That's how much I disliked the Epic Game Store. Were your kids into Fortnite at all? Or? Nope. No? Okay. My son wants to play it, but with him having autism, mm -hmm. I don't want him playing games where I got a bunch of 
people cussing at him. Right, exactly, yes. Yeah, the last thing I want is my, my autistic child playing with a bunch of kids cussing at him. Yep. Because exactly. he's, he's just be trying to have, he do his he's thing. He's trying to have fun. Yeah. He is. Yeah, and yeah, you've got yeah. a bunch of little little brats like, hey, you're not playing yeah, games. My, yeah, my son's like that. He'll play GTA Five online. Uh-huh. And, oh. oh, man, it gets bad, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's it, it sucks, but... Mm-hmm. So... Fun sponges. <laughs> there, there's a couple of games. He's got his. Uh, I uh, okay. I his games are Broforce. Oh, you gotta no play Broforce. And here's the thing. That's another that's, one I cannot play. I bought it on Steam. I liked it's on the Steam? game. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I bought it on Steam and I liked it enough. But I went ahead and bought it on the PS4 because to me it's a side scroller and you can only play those with oh, controls. Oh, console. It's like, better on console side scrollers. Yeah, yes. exactly. It's like I cannot play. I can I can play Mario Brothers, all the Mario games on my computer. Mm-hmm. I don't like to. I right. would. I want them on a controller. See, that's funny. Like on my on my PC, I have an emulator, but I have a um, a SNES. Uh, 30 Bluetooth controller, so on my PC, so I can play all the old PC games. It still doesn't yeah. play right. It's yeah, it's it's the got a little will... bit of lag. The exactly, off. and I can't yeah. do it. So I yeah. honestly, you play it on Raspberry Fo- Raspberry Pi, it's flawless. Mm. Uh, but going back to Borderlands Three, so first and foremost, I love the Borderlands franchise. I really, really do. Um, I got really into does. Borderlands shortly after the first game came out. So when Borderlands 1 came out, I got into it shortly after, and it was mostly because I saw the art style, and it you play and it made the game look like you were playing in, playing a comic book. Right. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. So when it first came out, were you playing it on PC or PlayStation? PC. I've only oh, played okay. it on PC. Like when it first came out. That's what yeah, I it's yeah. a first-person shooter. I need yeah. a keyboard and mouse. <laughs> Yo, know, PC Master Race here. Come on yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't play first-person shooters on console. I saw a console. <sighs> yeah. you, you, it's just not as good. It's not now, as good. Now, see, I'm the opposite. I need to get used to uh, a, a mouse and the keyboard mm. um, because I'm used to playing on, yeah, a, just, on a certain, console. Certain games are better yep. on console. Certain games are better on PC. I mean, it really is. That's why it's, uh, it's kind of one of the deals. Is like there's some games I cannot play anything uh, <laughs> on a console, and some games I cannot play on PC. Let's see. Raphael goes. Did you play Tales from the Borderland? I did not. Yes. I did not even know about that until after, and you couldn't get it anymore. And it's sad because I know that in that in Tales from the Borderlands, plus it was not it's made. Fun. It's a fun one. It is, but it wasn't made by Gearbox. It was made by another company, but mm-hmm. they did a phenomenal job. And it also gives you, I, I also didn't even know it was canon, but it actually, what happens in there is canon. And that's where you learn about Scooter. And I'm not going to tell anything if nobody's played <laughs> the games. Play one, two, and then go to three. Play the story right. Start from one game and progress, progress yeah. like a like a human being. Come on now, <laughs> um, but so I started it too though. So did you? Yeah. Because here's the problem: uh, as soon as I wanted to get it, the company folded, and Steam could no longer sell it. Oh wow! Oh. If you had it, you can still have it. If you had a physical copy for a console, you could still play it. Yeah, I have physical. I have can't PS3. get it anymore. I'm uh, hoping somebody gets the IP and they re-release it. I want Gearbox buy it. <laughs> Get it from them. Re-release it. I need to play it. But uh, um, here's one thing. That may, may, this is one of the reasons I stopped playing Borderlands 3 for a while. And I don't hate the game. It just really upset me the way they went to it. And maybe it's just me. I get that. Other people may appreciate this. But there was a couple of things they did. One, in Borderlands 2, we lost Roland. Roland got shot by uh, Handsome Jack. And that hurts because Roland was a playable character in the first game. The second game, you're all new set of vault hunters, and those characters became the main key characters in the story. Well, they decided to off him. All right, great. Tales from the Borderlands. They decided to off somebody else. But he wasn't. They weren't a playable character. They were an out. They were another character. Okay, fine. Borderlands two. Borderlands three. If you progress through the story, and I don't want to ruin it for it, we lose two more. One of them just happens to be a character I play put a lot of time in, and I enjoyed playing the most, which was Maya. And they offed her, and they offed her in the worst way. Like, she, she, <sighs> she got offed. Okay, they introduced a younger character wrong. 
<laughs> they they wanted to introduce a new younger character, and mm. what happened was is you had a every game they've got a younger character, and in Borderlands Two we had Tiny Tina, which was a an amazing character. They they, they developed her, they developed her. Tiny right. Tina was, was in a class by herself. Oh, she was yeah. awesome. <laughs> So in Borderlands 3, they decided to come out with Ava. Hands down, hands down, Ava is the worst character they have ever. And I, they've got, I mean, none of their characters, not all their characters are phenomenal. And some of them are mediocre. But this was one of the characters that was a main, part of the main story. And Ava just is absolutely horrible <laughs> everything about ava is bad the voice actoring is i mean the voice actor is great just the way she comes off is whiny <laughs> they, she's a very narcissistic self-centered child which we don't need we didn't get that with uh uh, uh tiny tina we get that with this little whiny teenager <laughs> That's supposed to become this ne the the next siren, and the, she's the reason that Maya got killed, and it's like everything about Ava is horrible. I have literally went to uh, went to Twitter and asked them, "Hey, can you release a patch to remove Ava from the game?" <laughs> That's how much I dislike this character. This does not. Like and here's the thing. I'm of the mind. It's like, yes, it's still a kid. Can you just like, can you change her story where she, they, we sent her off on a mission. We never hear from her again. <laughs> right, yeah. Can we just make her go away? Because everything about Ava is bad. I don't even want you to try to fix her. I don't want you to go on later and go, oh, she's a playable character. And <laughs> here's her new story arc. And I don't care. I, 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 her introduction was absolutely horrible, and it's a bad character. I think we may have spoiled something for craziness because craziness said no. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe maybe they don't. Uh, maybe they don't like. It. Here's the thing, though. There's so much in the game I'm not getting into. I'm not exploring any story. Uh, the, one of the key other characters I haven't told you about, but we lose two characters in Borderlands Three, which really upset me because it's getting to the point where Borderlands like, hey. Who are we going to kill in this game? <laughs> it kind of reminds me of uh, who watched the show Angel, the Buffy the Vampire spinoff. Mm. Mm. Did, did anyone ever watch that show no, here? Never heard of it. Never. All right. Well, see, the, the reason it reminds me of that is because they killed off a key main character in the first season. And that was that that was something that they wanted to do. They felt that it was ambitious They because shows didn't usually do that at the time. Yeah, you know, you 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 took your main characters and you took them into two, season two or season three, and then you know maybe you killed them off. But they killed off a key character right up in the beginning, and it was upsetting. But it actually set the scene for the way the show ended. Yeah. So maybe. But here, I I, I get it. But here we go with Borderlands Two. I was upset with Roland being killed off. Right, but I it, actually just got to that point in Borderlands 2. Here's the thing. It sets up for the hands down, the best expansion, the best storyline, the best everything they have ever put together in the Borderlands franchise, and that is Tiny Tina's uh, Assault, on, Assault Keep. on Dragon Keep. Hands down, that is the best. Best put together. Now, there's a certain level that you want to play that in, isn't it? Isn't there? Isn't that like? Yeah, yeah I think you want to. Be, you think you'd be like level forty? Oh, something like that. Yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. want to. You want to be up there pretty high. But uh, hands down, there is. And those guys haven't played it. The overall. The over. There's an underlying story that is just so deep, so touching, and it kind of makes. It really dives into Tiny Tina, actual person. Because if you guys read into the story of Tiny Tina, it's she's lost her mind because her parents were killed in front of her, mm. tortured. And I'm not going to go too far into it because there's a lot of the story that goes into it. But that's what makes this kind of makes the character mm, okay. is the tragedy right. that that happened to her, and it's why she's such a phenomenal demo, uh, demolitionist. Mm. But yeah, because she could blow some shit up. Yeah, <laughs> play. All, all I gotta say is anybody. Hands down, 
play through Borderlands 2 and definitely get to the Borderlands uh, uh, Assault on Dragon Keep because that is, it's essentially you're playing the characters as they're playing through a and d campaign, which is bunkers and badasses, <laughs> but there's an underlying story that is being told underneath it. It's, it's just absolutely phenomenal. N hands down, out of any game I have ever played, that expansion alone is the best I've ever played. Nice. Now, see, it's really cool when a, a game can do that, can yeah. kind of get oh, you really at that is. level, you know, and, and show that kind well, of Well, it's a depth. DLC, but yeah. Yeah. But hands down, and there's just so many quirks to it. They have so much fun with it. But what they... Honestly, and I'm trying not to give it away because I want people to go and play it and experience it. But hands down, Assault and Dragon Keep that is just absolutely phenomenal. It's the it's like the corniest, craziest idea that they <laughs> executed far better than anybody, any other expansion, DLC, game mod I have ever seen executed. I have nothing but high praise. And anybody I tell, anybody I find out that plays that game, that, or that wants to play, I tell them, go play that. Go buy De Borderlands. And you can tell, you can ask some people, it's like, I bought it for them. Just like, don't go play this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it that much. Nice. So that, but that kind of goes into, when we get to Borderlands 3, there's, there's a few things they've added to the lore. I don't think they're changing it, but they're adding to it to add depth. And I don't like where they're going with it. Mm. One of the things they're going with is, like, if you remember people talking about, and especially in the previous games, we just assumed that everybody was, the, those who were, the f women that were sirens were born that way. Well, what they've added in Borderlands 3, and you'll get into it, play the game, and you'll find out, is that siren powers can actually, if you die, they just jump to somebody else. And what's funny is, is it opens up a whole bunch of questions. Like, one of the sirens dies in Borderlands 3, and that's how Ava gets her siren powers. But it's like, she's in her teens. So are we, like, doing this whole midichlorian thing with siren powers? That's where I'm wondering. <laughs> well, wasn't, wasn't there something in um, Borderlands 2, I want to say, is where I heard it, where... There was only a certain number of sirens in the world. Six. Okay. What if that's what happened? What if, you know, the world lost one siren so it needed another? But my question is, is wouldn't we were led to believe, and maybe maybe we were just we just didn't get that into it, that it would jump to a newborn. Actually, no. You're actually. I'm going. I'm, the more I think about it, no, that's not completely true. But I just don't. I mean, I, I I I completely get where you're coming from. You don't like the character that the powers went to in 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 the game. That and the fact that they're like, well, it just conveniently, you know, when Handsome Jack Angel got her her siren powers, she was a little kid. What siren died near her? For did, her to get it. It's like, is it did, a proximity thing? Does it just randomly decides who to get it? I mean, what what works here? I mean, it could be, as corny as it might sound, it could be a, a, a destiny kind of thing. You know, this person was born to be a siren. They were just waiting for the previous, or the, yeah, the oh, previous Oh, please don't tell me Ava die. was born to be a siren because <laughs> that's going to hurt my head more than anything else because <laughs> that is the most annoying Maybe character. Ava was born. To be a siren. Oh, you're rude. <laughs> you went there. I don't. I, I don't like where you're going with this. <laughs> but see, that's my job. I go places that other people uncomfortable. Don't. It's like, <laughs> I I I sh shall I bring up my whole um, reasoning why Jar Jar Binks was supposed to be where no. he was put? Well, stay on topic. <laughs> you are going to stay on topic, sir. <laughs> you will not and divert this turn. to Jar Jar. <laughs> I will. Square in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ever tell you guys about that? No, I don't think so. Oh, after the show, we'll have after to talk about that. After the show, because we're not doing second. it right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I refuse. I refuse. Anyway, so Borderlands 3 came out on Steam this week. I bought it again. Uh, one thing I do want to talk about, like I said, uh, uh, 
The numbers are absolutely phenomenal. This goes more into talking about with the whole. Uh, they were wondering. There was always a bunch of questions of who was waiting for it to come out on Steam because there was. If you guys ever watched, there was a whole bunch of deals where people were pissed <laughs> that Epic Game Store got exclusives, exclusives to. Only, huh? yeah. yeah, they got exclusives to it, and it upset a lot of people. So a lot of people were like, "We're waiting for it. We're waiting for it." And there was a lot of questions. Well, is there actually people waiting for it? Well, we figured out. <laughs> on Sunday, March 15th. Now, it dropped on the 13th, I think. Oh, yeah. On the 13th. Mm -hmm. Or yeah, it was like 13th. On the 15th, n the amount of people playing on Steam, Borderlands 3. On Pete, Sunday, March 15th. On Sunday, 93,820 People. Ooh, man. That's a lot of asses in computer chairs. <laughs> Damn straight. A lot of butt sweat. <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> a lot of butt sweat. A lot of butt sweat. Yes. <laughs> it puts it in the territory of some of Steam's most popular games. Not only that, it is hovering at the 13th spot in history. Dang. Like, right out the gate. Right. There is that many. So... In like 48 Close hours, to 100,000 people have been waiting for Steam, waiting for Borderlands 3 to come on Steam. I, said, I wonder how, what kind of numbers like people specifically did not get it on the Epic just because they wanted to wait if it came out with something. I else. know a lot of people. Yeah, did. I know a lot. Of, I yeah. know a lot of people did. I'm one of those. You just got it because it came out. <laughs> I had to get it when it came out. And here's the thing: I did not. I, I kind of did a loophole thing. I bought it directly from 2K, which meant Epic Game Store had to honor it, and mm. then. Because I felt kind of good that way, because then I wasn't get I wasn't giving Epic you, Games you store direct, your money, direct money, yeah. but I still got to play it. Well, you still got it. Um, uh. But I did, and I did say I honestly said, um, um, what was it? Uh, six months ago, I said that as soon as it came out on Steam, I would buy it again. You did say that. I have not only that, but one of you guys is going to get a copy of it. <laughs> so. Uh, um, and like I said, I am going to be giving it away here shortly. <laughs> the way this is going to work, like I said, you guys are going to have to add me on Steam. Check. Uh, and I'm going to uh, add you guys on here. I love that uh, my, my wife knows me show, so well. She commented, mm -hmm. he always goes to the bad places. <laughs> he does. True. He does. He I migrates do to go them. to the bad places. So, I live the in dark the bad beard. places. <laughs> <laughs> and on top of that, I accidentally wiped my current character. <laughs> oh, shit. Ah! Here's the, oh, I did find out this. I found this out today. If anybody wants, if anybody does have it on the Epic Game Store, you oh, can copy transfer? your character and profile, your character files, oh, over nice. to Steam. I was say, was it transferable? Okay. All the stuff I created and got to level thirty something already. Dang. Twenty something. I'm a level twenty something, and I'm a, and uh, I didn't realize you could do this. And I learned this today. <laughs> I copied all my characters from the Epic Game Store, so I got my level forty six. Uh, character, all three of my characters that I've had on the Epic Game Store have now been copied over to nice. my Steam game. <laughs> now, do you have to copy them over before you delete Steam, or you know what I mean? So nope. if you delete no, 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 it, no. it's just automatically. Uh, what's funny it's in the cloud. <laughs> you go to my documents, my games, uh, Borderlands Three, and I think there's another folder, and there's two folders. There's a random string of characters that's really long, and mm. one that's really short. Mm. The really long one is the Epic Game Store. The really short one. Is Steam. Oh, wow. Oh, I apologize. Excuse <laughs> me. Go into the really long one, copy all of those save files out. There's a profile, dot, uh, profile file, and there's save one, two, three, whatever. Copy all those, paste them into the other file, other uh, folder. Steam file. Yeah. Steam file. Okay. And I did. I loaded nice. up. All three of my characters were there. I'm like, yay. Nice. Awesome. Now, Mordecai Lampino asks, what is the max level on three? Uh, Borderlands 3, do you know? I don't know what the max level is currently. I think it's 50 or 60 currently. Okay. All right. It, it may be 50. I think because I know there's an achievement for reaching max level 50, but okay. it could be like 60. I, they, they kept going up. Like certain DLCs that would download because the second DLC came out. When Steam got released, it was also the release of the second expansion, uh, second DLC. So. Um, Oh, good. Got a text about my daughter. Hmm. Uh, my daughter was sick, so I apologize. Oh. I'm watching my phone to oh, see yeah, if that's yeah. done. Oh, so yeah. That's kind of important. I apologize. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, that's definitely but, important. Uh, 
I believe it's either 50 or 60. You know, you know what? Yeah. Let me look. Let's Google it. <laughs> <laughs> I seduced the Google. Now, so that while one of those... Ray is looking that up, what mm. I'm going to say is to everyone that wants to, you know, be in the, the running as it is for the copy, don't forget to add Audio Crazy on um, Steam. Got to have your yes, Steam account. You Got to be friends with him on there. And if you want to, you don't have to, but you can also add the Beard and Gary. Um, that's entirely Who's up that? to you. That's me. <laughs> that's that's this thing here. <laughs> yep. thing. I'm getting ready to start doing some videos on there. Awesome. It will be the horrible misadventures of the Beard and Gary oh, that sounds on Steam because I'm gotta a find horrible you, PC gamer. I don't know if I, if I have you on Steam or not. I don't think you do okay. yet, right. but yeah, I'll, I'll be looking for you. Awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm I'm a horrible PC gamer. I'm a yeah, console me too. gamer. I love from it, but I'm horrible beginning. at it. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you know, keep. Or keyboard over on the left hand, mouse on the right. It's, yep. it's crazy. It's <laughs> awkward. But you might if find it, works, it hilarious, you know? I hey, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> if it works for you. Okay, exactly. So, yep. Exactly. Yep. I found the... Okay, okay. so they do, they're doing something a little funky with the level cap. Level 50 was for the base game. And I guess they're doing with the, 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 uh, the expansion that came out Thursday. It's a level 53. That's strange. Just a few. That's odd. A few levels. That, that's that is an odd weird. number. Yeah, 53. It is a very, I could very see not weird. Not 60, not 55, 53. <laughs> I, I, I could see 10 or 15, like you're saying, Retro. Right. But I think what they're doing yeah. is, is they only want to do a 10 level cap. So with the expansions and the added <coughs> additional characters are going to be, because I heard, because uh, the, the next one's going to be like uh, with Gage. Uh, they're, I think they're only going to do 10 levels total or oh, maybe okay. five levels total. I see. But yeah, currently now, it's level 53. Is that one of those kind of games where they wait for a certain amount of people to hit that cap before they start releasing like higher levels and stuff like that, or do they just well time industry or? standards normally like ten levels? Like, hey, mm. we got a new expansion. Here's another two. But gotcha. WoW's kind of like ruined that because now <laughs> you're up to 120. And they're like, all right, we have to get rid of this because it's <laughs> yeah, getting that's nuts. too much. Yeah. So uh, yeah, the, the max level of Borderlands Three is level. 53. If you have the base game, it's level 50. If you have uh, the, uh, uh, the, the expansions, it's 53 currently. So, mm -hmm. all right. I'm going, it's about that time. So, um, I know a few people have posted in here. Let's see here. Who, all, oh, uh, and the, I, I've got the chart here for the latest. Uh, apologize about this. Uh, the numbers? Oh, the yeah, numbers, the numbers uh, for so Borderlands. So numbers as of yeah. today, there was 53,556, and this was like a couple of hours ago, uh, players playing. The all-time peak was 93,820. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and you said every single one of them, they've been seeing really good play. This is off of SteamDB. Yeah, this yeah, is Steam, Steam reporting numbers. Right. So this is Steam saying, this is how many people are playing the game. Ha ha, epic. <laughs> yes. That's a straight laugh in Epic's face. <laughs> so that's actually phenomenal. That's really good. So yeah, there was a lot of people waiting to play. Plus with the discount they gave on the game, which mm. made it easy for me to buy it because I was like, oh, okay, I'll buy this. Um, so now it's time to give away. So everybody post in chat. Who would Who is looking for a copy of Borderlands 3? Ooh, me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I would not if I got it. I would not play it until I finished the other ones. Just so you know, what I mean, I like to go, I like to go in order. So yeah, I say, have you played Borderlands one or two? Um, two. I have not played one. I played yeah. like thirty minutes of one, but I just one I don't doesn't. Know. One's a little. It, it, it seemed like it was just something completely different. It seemed like to me. I don't know. Well, it could be because it's the original game. And Maybe you know what I mean. Because so I have them on the PS3. Gun. So one has the original one. Two. All the characters you could play in one mm -hmm. become the story characters, NPCs in two, okay. which are main characters. Main character. Okay, gotcha. So every game is an actual sequel. And you, you, no, it's, ah. it's, it's better if you play them all together. All together. All okay, right. Gotcha. So we have. I'm literally going to write these down. <laughs> Who we got here? Who I'll got give you the on? names if you want. Um, let me just see here. Well, what I'm going to do. Thanks. Or to say here, uh, who here has active Steam, has Ray on there, yeah, and stuff like that. Is there anybody else? There's a couple other people that posted so yeah, here. There, I want to make there, sure they're in there here. There are a few. Uh, Jean Labart, J E A N L A B 
Or now, team. remember, the criteria is you have to add me on Steam. Right. Yeah, you have to add you have him. To have if, so if, I will if you check here in a minute. I've actually got Steam open right now, so yeah. I'll be checking it here right after the show. Uh, next. All right, next. Are you going to do it live or after the show? No, I'm going to do or it after we? the show. Okay. I'm going to announce who it is on the show, and then after the show, I'll go and add him. I'm gotcha. just right now, I'm getting all the, all the names. Yeah. Yeah. Man, there's a lot of them tonight. No, there yeah. is. There is. We got a couple, a couple of lurkers. It's all good. Nadia. It's all good. Me. That's all right. <laughs> yeah. It's the um, watchers that we love. So you haven't played. Uh, so Jesse, you haven't played. I watched it. like the first Borderlands. Like my friend was into it, but I've never played. Have any of you guys ever seen? This is what's really cool. Originally, when the game was announced, and I didn't notice it until after I got into, deep into the game, uh, the original graphics and everything was going to be realistic. Oh, really? And if you look at it, it kind of looks like any. It really looked like just any other game out there. Uh, it was that's, the so storyline was cool. different than but the thing was is uh, like three quarters or halfway or three quarters through the production of the game, they decided we're gonna do we're gonna change it to this. And the you've, one thing you don't understand. Here's the thing: every single texture is actually hand drawn. Oh wow! That's why it, it looks, looks like it's hand drawn. Yeah, it does. They use Wacom tablets, but they literally draw every tech. It's not like they take a picture and uh, Photoshop right. it. They actually hand draw every texture. That's really cool. That is what makes the game. See, that's why I love about the game the amount of detail they went into it. Yeah, and it's they great. did this in mid production. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. So they had to pretty much start. F- but that's through. also why the game is so good is because of the amount of just the love and attention yeah. they went into it. Uh, let's now see I'm going to take this moment while Ray is writing names down. So all of you guys that are commenting right now, and by the way, thank you for that. Um, I, you know, whether it's for the game or, or, or not, it doesn't matter. You guys are, are, are oh, interacting, guys. and we appreciate that. I'm going to go ahead and ask, can you give us a like on Facebook right there, you know, because... Or like on YouTube. All those likes on YouTube, on, yes. on YouTube sorry, not Facebook. <laughs> I had a mind fart back to when we first started out. We broadcasted yeah, we're on Facebook. On Facebook. I remember that, yeah. But on YouTube, if you could give us likes, that would be great. <laughs> Those likes really help us. We appreciate them. And also, if you haven't subscribed mm. down there, you know, so that yeah, you yeah. know when we're going live. And the, it's not a requirement of this yeah, competition. Not a requirement Honestly, it's not all. a requirement, but we greatly I'm just you. asking if you would be so kind as to do that. We Gary, have you done a YouTube channel at all? Or have, well, yeah, do you have okay, any kind of your own videos? Or? Actually, you know what? I do. Mm-hmm. I have... I, I can't remember. I'll, I'll have to. I'll send you a link to awesome. it. Okay. I haven't uploaded any videos to it yet. Embarrassingly, I've had <laughs> it for a couple of years, and I just I've been lazy with it. Awesome. But I hey, need to. It, I need to start doing some things. It's with fun. It, so yeah. All right. Yeah, so, I've been checking out some of your stuff too, Retro. Oh, thank it's you. Pretty, appreciate yeah. it. Mm-hmm. So who is okay? We got we got we got. What's up, Mr. Bear by Otzi Stage Channel <laughs> Two One Five? Who is that? Uh, that I know what that means, like but that that that. <laughs> that Particular greeting sounds like it could be my good friend. Uh, yep, Eric Wandick. Yep, one. he's one of our brothers down uh, in uh, our local 215. Nice. That uh, he's one of our upriggers. Yeah, Mr. Bear. That's what he calls me. Awesome. Mr. Bear. For some okay, reason okay. at work, man, the n- nickname Gare Bear started <laughs> by somebody. That's great. And it's, I like it. It's, it's caught fire. The Beard Bear. And uh, yeah, <laughs> the Gare Bear. I, I, d- I didn't even try to fight it. I was just like, I'm, I'm Gare Don't Bear. Don't fight it. That's Don't it. Don't fight Go it, Gare Bear. Just let, let him grab yeah. you by the beard. Yeah, just let yep. it happen. <laughs> Mr. Bear, that's what Eric calls me. So that's yeah. great. Thank- hey, what's on. happening, Eric? I'm glad you're watching this, brother. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, yeah, all right, you will never so be got, known got, other got, than Gare like Bear a, now. Like a handful of you guys. I, so. I am the Gare Bear. <laughs> Oh, we got a last person. Last person Bear here. Cares. Okay. <laughs> I want to enter Angela Romero. All right. I'm all right, glad right, you got cool, in cool. there. I'm adding you guys in. Angela hey, Romero. I'm, I'm giving yep. a few minutes more. I'm letting, letting the last name. I've written everybody's name down, and I'm going to pick somebody out. I'm actually going to do this. I'm doing as a random number generator. So just remember to there's going to be one Ray. of you guys that is going to get this. Absolutely like audio crazy. Got to add yep. him. Yep, add, add audio crazy on, on Steam. Uh, you know, so like the like the video, and then also uh, uh, add me on Steam. Uh, I've, my last couple of characters I've been adding as open net play. 
So anybody can hop in and play while I, whenever I'm hopping. It's just random when I get again because unfortunately I am a father. Yep. I'm also a full time employee, oh. <laughs> and I suck at getting on and playing. I haven't been live streaming. But much thanks to the coronavirus, he's probably going to yeah. be on a little more often. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not <laughs> as much as you may think because yeah. right. Uh, yeah, you still I, got I'm a lot currently to do. supporting yep. a lot of people that are working from home. Yeah. Right. All right. All right. So we. I'm going to give it. A, I'm going to give it another minute. Um, let's talk a little bit more about Borderlands Three. Yeah. Uh, uh, one of the things I'm a little upset about, and I, I, I'm hoping they kind of fix this, uh, they may dive into it a little bit more, but when it was like Tiny Tina and uh, the B team that hyped that up a bit mo too much because to give them such little window of in the actually in the game. Like they were just kind of like, here's the B team. Here's all the stuff to make your cosplay. Here's all the stuff. Yes, the B team, Tiny Tina, you know, uh, uh, Mordecai and I'm uh, sorry. I'm going to I'm going to interrupt you for a second. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Tiny Tina's on the B team? Yes, they call themselves the B team. B Tiny, Tiny Tina is like No, no, she, no. They I did it up front. I don't, I, you know why they call it the B team? Tiny Tina is awesome all on her own. No, Tiny Tina likes the B team cuz she likes bombs. Mm. I stand corrected. <laughs> I retract my statement. And Jack Bear goes down. <laughs> my respect goes to Tiny Tina. Yeah. Because, as I said earlier, she can blow some I shit up. I do expect them to do it. Now, I don't want them to rehash the dragon, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, assault on Dragon Keep. I don't want to go that route again. No. Don't mess with the, something. Don't mess with perfection. No, uh, because it's right. yeah. But I've, I I've want heard good things about it. I, I haven't played it. They yet, basically but. have made themselves into Mordecai, uh, Tiny Tina, and uh, uh, Brick have become this kind of. Uh, Brick, that's the leader of the slags, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. But they've all become this kind of assault team. Absolutely. So I, I expect, Gearbox, if you're watching this, I expect <laughs> a DLC where we're doing assaults with them. Hey, Ray. I don't want excuses. Just to make sure, Ken just asked. He oh, said, I hope Ken, I'm in. Ken, right, wants I to will make ask sure. Ken in. Yep, I haven't the closed The answer it off yet. To, to you hope you're in, have you added him on Steam? Yes, have you added That's me on Steam? That's the thing. You have to add him have on Steam. Have you liked the video? I can't do that for you. You have all to right, do right, that. All right, here we go. Here we go. So we add that. So that's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Add him. Okay. Add audio crazy. Do we have All anybody else? A U D I O C R A Z. Have we added anybody else? Uh, I got everybody that's asked so far. Come on. I'm going through and double checking the there. chat. Get on there. He's gonna give it to you. Yep. He's gonna he, yep. he's gonna pay for it and give <laughs> it to you. All right. So. Yeah. What is it? Yeah. Yeah. He, he's All right. Gonna so give we're it gonna to close him. it off. We're gonna close it off right now. Okay. So I'm going to put this in random number generator, and I'm using the, the Google random number closed. generator. So if anybody doesn't like this, he's can play with generating. Him. One, two, three. And the lucky winner is. Let me pull it up. I want to pull up his whole name. I got it sitting here. I'm excited. Mordecai Lampino. Nice. Add me. Let me know who you are on uh, 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 Steam. On Steam. Steam. <laughs> I will buy it for you. And like I said, this is awesome. coming out of my own personal wallet. This is not a giveaway. I am doing this. Okay. I have complaints about the game, but I love it enough that I want to buy it for somebody. So, congrats. Awesome. Yeah. Everybody else, Ooh. you were in here. You were on the list. Um, Maybe I'll do another one. Maybe next week I'll do another one. I don't know. Ooh, Check out. Come maybe. and hang out with us. I may do it again. And like I said. Um, I wish they would offer me uh, offer me some keys to give, but uh, <laughs> unfortunately, I uh, we are not that big. We haven't gotten there yet, but you we're know what? There. We we're are there. on our way. <laughs> See, all you gotta uh, do is you gotta you gotta bring uh, Ray some Twinkies, and he just starts giving <laughs> stuff away. So, <laughs> See, <laughs> Twinkies give, me, give me some happy juice and yep. a, a Twinkies uh, and alcohol bottles. <laughs> yeah, it's a good combo. <laughs> 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 all right, so yeah. Not a problem, man. Thank you for watching. Um, we're going to get out of here. Uh, we ran a little bit over, but I'm really grateful for everybody being here. Please like uh, and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Catch us back next week. Like I said, every Tuesday night, 7 we p.m. Pacific. We try every single mm. Tuesday. Sometimes it doesn't happen. 
Sometimes you know, we have well, to adore like humans. Uh, yeah. uh, also, check out Jesse Arena's on Canoodle Studios. You can catch him on Canoodle Studios' Facebook page, Canoodle Studios' YouTube page. Just I search can't for it. Point. You Studios. can't see me, but right that's there. Jesse. Yes, There's Jesse. Jesse. Hi, Jesse. Hello. Hi, Jesse. Retro Obsessed. You, hey. you can find him. YouTube, Facebook, Retro Obsessed. Everything. Uh, check him out. That cool retro Dude, he, he's Nintendo got an amazing hat. game room. Yeah, thank you, is thank that, you. Is, isn't that the game garage? It's the gamers dungeons. What gamers I call it. Dungeon. The gamers yes. dungeon. How many? Gamers whip, dungeon. How many, That's where you want to hang out. Do you Only make your women. whips out of X controller cables? <laughs> a few or? of them. A few of them. A few, a few okay. of them have frayed ends, so yeah. it makes it a little better. Ooh. <laughs> you get, so you you're are always welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to come there visit you go. now. <laughs> <laughs> he has a rack made out of old Commodore 64 yes. parts. <laughs> nice. <Right. laughs> There's a whole layer of keyboards down there somewhere, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Always. Um, uh, and uh, don't forget, Beard and Gary, who's on, I guess, you, what's your YouTube? YouTube? Uh, or you even got one started yet? I, I, I'll, I'll share a link with the, the Nerd Cave Dwellers yeah. webpage. Mordecai okay. said he did yeah. add, add we, you. Yeah. Nerd, uh, Nerd Cave, you can always go to nerdcaveshow.com. AudioCrazy.com is where you can go to everything. Uh, this will be posted up there here shortly. And uh, you can also find us on Facebook. That's our Nerd Cave Dwellers page is the most active right now. Um, we yeah, are yeah, constantly absolutely. That's posting all kinds of crazy silliness. And the Nerd Cave Dwellers page is open for you guys to post things it's as the well. Meme central. Ideas <laughs> that you might want us to Oh yeah, you know, do may yeah. have uh, topics on the show. I love hearing from you guys. It's Honestly, absolutely. I, do. I thank you to everybody. I know Retro and Jesse is posted on there, and and you know Ray and I do all the time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, thank you to everybody it's that fun. does that. It's really great stuff. And uh, just to let you know, Mordecai, this is going to be the digital super deluxe. I did not want to announce that anyone people anyone. I, it was kind of a surprise, but yes, this is going to be the super deluxe. This is going to be the whole, all the expansions, the whole nine nice. things. Awesome. I wanted to make sure whoever gets this is going to have a lot of fun. Um, like I said, uh, I will be on there. Give me about 15 minutes, and I'll be on Steam, and I will get you that. Uh, anyway, I, all you guys that are also watched, hope to see you guys back next week. Um, Jeez, what else we got to talk about? <laughs> uh, the, the the happy juice is starting to hit, so I'm like getting brain farted. Let's really see what badly. kind of peeps I can find for us next <laughs> yeah. week. Oh jeez, I don't like you at all. Uh, Retro, uh, they better be tasty peeps. That's yeah. all I'm saying. No. For those of you guys watching, listening on the podcast, yes, we do have a podcast. You can find us on Podbean, and you guys can find us on uh, iTunes. We are on iTunes. So uh, yes. yeah. You can Podcast. catch us there. Awesome. If you want to listen to the audio of this, and we try to be explanation, uh, try to be as descriptive and explain things, but we are drinking happy juice, so I make yeah. no promises whatsoever. We would love <laughs> some feedback on that, actually. If you exactly. guys are listening yeah. to the podcast, give us some feedback. Let us know yeah, what I we can do. Yeah, I did add it on iTunes. We that did is some stuff different. Specific for so, the yeah. podcast. So anyway, uh, we are out of here for this week. We want to thank you. We love you guys so much. You guys are absolutely amazing. Tonight was a phenomenal night. So uh, we hope to see you guys back next week. We're, we're going to banter, talk, and uh, try some questionable treats <laughs> again because that's kind of what we do. Anyway, next week, you guys have a great night. Have a good night, guys. Peace.